Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another paper card reading here on Rainbow Tower UK. And today we're doing, uh, you know, are they thinking about you? And if so, what are they thinking? So we have got our three piles as usual. We have pile number one, that is the hummingbird with the pink howlite. Pile number two, the beaver with the snowflake obsidian. And then pile number three, the butterfly with the rainbow oil quartz. Those are your three piles. Go for the one that feels right, the one that's sort of calling to you. If there's more than one pile, absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. It just means you've got messages in more than one pile and you might want to listen to that one as well. But otherwise, I will see you very, very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome, welcome back to your reading. So um, today's reading is, uh, is your person thinking about you? So are they thinking about you? And if so, you know, what are they what are they thinking? So you came into the reading with this beautiful card, which is the Hummingbird card. Such a gorgeous card, got all these beautiful colours. So lovely. Um, and I feel like because your message is the bird birds are all about communication aren't they um i would say this person is thinking just off the top of my head just intuitively i would say this person is person is thinking that they, they've got you know something that they want to say to you maybe all this red around their throat chakra um i feel like they're thinking a lot about you um and there's something about maybe you with all these colors here standing out to them because this hummingbird is really standing out, isn't it? The, you know, the bird is really standing out there, central. Um, it's got all this beautiful light and colours around it. So that's that's very interesting. So let's have a look. We've also got the pink howlite. But it might be that they are thinking that they really want to connect, communicate with you. Um, or they've got a lot to say. Or you stand out to them or some, something like that. But anyway, let us get out some more cards so i just want to say as usual it is a it is a you know general reading so please just take the messages that resonate uh and feel right for you it's timeless that's good whenever you're finding it and if during the reading you do actually like the reading it would make a huge difference if you could subscribe hit the notification bell and it just means that that you know if i see my subscribers going up it just means that there's more chance I'm going to do more reading. So if you if you like that, then please do do that. Now let us ask. So for part one, now first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be asking, um, you know, what are you know are they thinking about you? Um, so are they thinking about pile number one, please? Are they actually thinking about pile number one? So I think they are with the uh, hummingbird. Now we've got this. These cards are both shade and light. So it's come out on here, which is desecrated, which is the shadow side, but the light side is blessed. It's come out with card number 14, which is five desecrated. So are they thinking about pile number one? Let us ask, are they actually thinking about pile number one? I feel like that one's, one's come out. Are they thinking about pile number one? Going forward, hmm. Yeah, I think it's got something to do with this card as well. Like I think this this might be that this situation has somehow been uh, it's, 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 it's somehow been challenged, or there's been problems in it with the desecrated, and they are thinking about going forwards with you, like moving forwards. Um, and I feel like they say about this person who really wants to get a message to you, you really stand out still to them. And I saw all the rainbows here because to me, rainbows represent balance more than anything else. So I feel like this person is wanting or thinking about balance with you. So they are thinking about you, for sure. They're thinking they've got a future still with you. That's what's going on here. They're thinking they've got a future still with you, um, for sure. But this is card number 14, and it adds up to five. And I also noticed that, and five is about challenges and change. Um, but let us get some other cards out. So... You know, let's ask, you know, what are they thinking? How are they thinking about pile number one, please? What are they thinking? How are they thinking about pile number one? What are they thinking? How are they thinking about pile number one? So we have the Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. What are they thinking? How are they thinking? The 
Empress. The Ace of Swords. The Knight of Cups. And um, the Magician, right, okay. So, for sure, I mean, they're definitely thinking about you. The situation at the moment could be a little bit unpredictable with the wheel here and the Ten of Wands. So, with the, and those, interestingly, come right under the card which says Desecrated. Um, so, something may have been ruined or something may have... Um, there may be some challenges or some problems in the collection. Like it might be unpredictable. Um, with the Ten of Wands, that's like a heavy burden, really. This woman is carrying a lot of bags. She's on her own. She's struggling. Um, and it's all sort of quite blue. So it may be quite cool and distant, the situation at the moment. Or there may be some sadness in the connection. But it also tells me, again, because although this hummingbird ha has... What stands out to me about this one it's got a lot of red around its throat. Now, throat chakra is normally blue, okay? But I feel like this person's got a lot of... It has an urgency, maybe, around wanting to say something to you. That is what they're thinking. They're wanting to connect with you. Because I feel at the moment, maybe, maybe that some of you don't have any contact with this person. Maybe the, the throat chakra is constricted in some way. And so it's really highlighted here. Um, but it could be that the situation is unpredictable... Um, you know, it's not, it's not constant, it's not steady. Um, but with the Empress and the Magician, I mean, those are cards of manifestation. So this person is thinking that they want to nurture this connection. They want to grow this connection. They want to create, maybe even manifest this connection. Uh, bring it, bring it about. What's underneath that? So that is the Hierophant, yeah, which is about commitment. So this person may want to be manifesting and growing and nurturing a committed situation with you. And that's why you've got going forwards. Because the Empress is all about growth, look, growth, nurture, love. And I feel like this person is thinking that they want to move forwards with you in a kind of loving way. So if anything challenging has gone on or if something has come into separation or the end, this person is thinking, we can have a new season again. We, because you can see all the different seasons in the Wheel of Fortune here. We can have a new season again. We can start again. We can begin again. We can have a new cycle. We can move from a heavy cycle, a cycle that's been difficult, a cycle that's now distant maybe or detached, or where there's a little bit of coolness, or where there's maybe come some restriction around communication, and we can move again into a new cycle. And this can be something, because we've got the Ace of Swords here, which again is a new beginning, it's a new beginning. Aces are always new beginnings and Ace of Swords is a truthful kind of honest new beginning. We've got the Knight of Cups here, so I feel like this person has a lot of romantic feelings towards you. Um, look, I can see a little photograph here. I feel like this person is spending a lot of time dreaming, thinking about you, and that's why you've got the rainbow colours around the hummingbird, because you stand out to them, you are something... I mean, a rainbow is something marvellous, isn't it? You know, it's something that everybody looks at. You know, when you see a rainbow, you know, often, I don't know about you, but I always stop and look at a rainbow because it's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous. All the colours are just mesmerising. So I feel like um, this person is spending a lot of time thinking about you because you sort of stand out to them. Um, yeah, definitely. And they have are thinking about maybe taking some action so maybe taking some action around um, creating something romantic with you again or maybe a romantic message. Um, and they've definitely got commitment on their mind here for sure. So in terms of what we've got, we've got Taurus, we've got Pisces, we have got Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. Um, we've also got Sagittarius here. So those are just some of the um, astrological signs that I'm seeing. But let us get out some more. So um, let's get one of these messages, actually, as we've talked about. Maybe them wanting to give you a message. So what, what's the message here? Yeah. Are they thinking? How are they thinking? Are they thinking about pile number one? I feel like I've got two here. So let's have a look and see what they are. We have express your love. Exactly. 
it is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. I thought this person definitely with all this red around the throat. They're sort of desperate to say something to you or to express themselves. Pay attention to signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidence, coincidences. So maybe there's not been a lot been a lot of signs and synchronicities about this person. That they're the right person, that they're the person you should be with, and you're being asked to pay attention to those signs. But let us get out some more. So let's start on what you know, what's I mean, I think we can safely say they are definitely thinking about you. So what are they thinking? So what are they thinking? How are they thinking about pile number one, please? I feel like I just want one, so I'm just going to take one. Which is faithfulness. Fidelity builds strong relationships. Well, that would definitely go with the Hierophant here. You know, this person is thinking long-term and in a serious way about you. They're not thinking uh, that this is a flash in the pan. They're... they're they're thinking that they have commitment, fidelity, faithfulness, and commitment here. Okay, so let's put that there. All right, so let's get out um, another oracle card. What have we got here? So, what are they thinking about, par number one? How are they thinking about par number one, please? Let's see what we got. What are they thinking? How are they thinking? movement into balance now isn't that interesting because i think when i said it i said rainbows to me mean um mean balance mean alignment you know more than anything else they mean everything um you know all, all your chakras aligned really um, and then we've got movement into balance so i feel like this person is wanting um balance with you wanting a balanced uh, connection yeah the yin and the yang the sun and the moon all of that they're wanting all that balance with you and equality maybe equality in some way uh, where there's, there's a lot of give and take um, something like that but anyway let's get let's get out some tarot so what are they thinking about pile number one please how are they thinking about pile number one so we have the sun oh my gosh fantastic the sun then we have the seven of swords the king of pentacles what are they thinking about pile number one please the Seven of Wands, what are they thinking about pile number one? And the Hierophant again, 100% this person is thinking of commitment with you and comes right under the Knight of Cups. So what have we got underneath? The King of Swords, yeah. So at the moment, what I'm feeling is with the King of Swords here, the overarching energy being you know, it's often, it's a, well, this King's Wars is a very cold scene. Um, so I feel like at the moment, it could be that you might not be with this person or the situation is a little bit detached and distant. And maybe something has happened with the Seven of Swords. Maybe this, this situation is unpredictable or the cycle has ended or something like that. Because with the Seven of Swords, somebody did something. Um, and if it was your person, I feel like they've got a lot of regret for that. So maybe they did something that was possibly um, wrong towards the connection, um, harmful to the connection. Maybe they thought they could get away with it, or maybe they thought it wouldn't really cause as much harm as it has done. Um, but I feel like there's probably they've probably got a lot of regret about that. And with the King of Swords, like I said at the moment, I think the overarching energy is um a little bit cold maybe it's cold between the two of you or distant or detached but again with all this coming out of this this king's mouth i feel like this person wants to speak to you wants to communicate with you wants to connect with you um that is what they are thinking and with the king of swords there's a lot of thinking going on there's a lot of thinking there's a lot of strategizing so this person might be making plans as we speak 
about how to connect again with you or how to get closer to you. Maybe to apologise if they've done something that was wrong, which they may have done, possibly. Or it could be as well that they are going to do something very unexpected with the Seven of Swords here, which could, which could be a little bit risky. So maybe they're considering coming forwards or telling you how they feel or expressing their love. That might be a little bit risky, um, but they're willing to take that risk because either side of that, you've got the Sun and the King of Pentacles. So this person, 100%, the King of Pentacles right under the Empress. I mean, they really want to have a committed relationship with you, a nurturing, loving bond with you. The King of Pentacles is a, a king who is um, stable, secure, solid, is it, you know, is always in a committed relationship. They're not one to be playing around or playing the field or anything like that. Uh, so this person definitely wants that. And also because you've got the Hierophant twice, which tells me that this person, because we have the Hierophant underneath the Magician, is wanting to manifest a very, very, very secure and stable and committed relationship with you. And I would even go as far as to say that they, you know, that they are thinking long term in terms of maybe marriage and commitment. Uh, the sun, I mean, you make them incredibly happy. And I feel like out of this heavy situation that might have been going on in the connection, or this very cold, because this, this, this again, these colours are quite cold. We've got the sun, which is really warm, isn't it, obviously? So I'm feeling this person is wanting to transform the connection from a cold place to a warm, loving, nurturing bond between you. Um, now, they may feel that they um, will face some opposition from you with the Seven of Wands here. Maybe they feel like they will, um, you know, when they declare themselves or when they say how they feel, that you might come back with a few retorts really and you might you know you might um have every reason to do that um but i feel like this person is wanting to sort of like um or feels that they can um sort of overcome that in some way with the seven of wands here that they will be able to um you know answer all your questions or they will be able to um deal with all the challenges that you might have um towards them and the way that they're going to do that or the way that they feel they have to do that is with the truth because it comes under the ace of swords by being truthful and honest and open and maybe there was some of that lacking with the seven of swords here maybe there was some of that lacking before but this person definitely definitely wants a committed relationship with you and wants to overcome whatever hurdles there might be in the connection to get that with you to have that with you so we have um, Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus we have Aquarius energy we've got um, Leo uh, yeah okay and we've also got um, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini with the King of Swords here yeah. so let's see if we've got any more let's have one of these cards as well so uh, what are they thinking how are they thinking about pile number one, please. What is this one? Is this the page of wands or the knight of wands? No, the six of wands. I always get that confused. The six of wands or well, the six of wands is victory. So this person is thinking that in this situation, they want to be victorious. They want to be recognised. They want the situation to be successful. They are thinking that this situation can be successful. What else have we got here? number one how is that person thinking what are they thinking please so we have beware of codependency addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life so maybe with the seven of swords there has been something um, uh, tricky in the energy or tricky in the connection but i feel like this person is wanting to um overcome that in some way if that's possible that might have been what's brought it down Make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You are called, called to move forward. Now, that's interesting because here, yeah, this one was about moving forward, wasn't it? Going forward. So maybe there is some healing things that need to happen or some healing that needs to happen. 
Um, and this person is aware of that with the Seven of Swords here. And they want to do that. They feel they're up to the challenge of that. What else have we got? One more for pile number one. True love, my goodness. This is the romance of a lifetime. True and lasting love is here for you. Wow, pile number one. So I'm going to leave that there for you. And say, if you enjoyed the reading, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That is really, really important if you want to carry on having readings. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the future. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two. Welcome. Welcome back to your reading. So lovely to have you here joining me for this pick a card reading. And today we're doing, you know, is your person thinking about you? And what are they thinking? You know, how are they thinking about you? So you chose to come into the reading under this lovely little sweet card, which is the Thiever. Really sweet little card here. Uh, so cute. <laughs> um, and the Snowflake Obsidian here. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Um, always reminding you, uh, it is a general reading, so please just take the messages that resonate. Um, and it's timeless, so it's good for whenever you're finding it. Um, if you like the reading, then please please do consider subscribing. That makes a huge difference and hitting that notification bell, particularly if you like it and you want to have more readings like this one. Obviously, the more subscribers I can get, then the more chance I have got to uh, carry on doing my channel. Um, I just want to say I hope everyone's doing well. Sending you lots of love and light as always, you know, hoping that you're, um, you know, you're doing well wherever you are. But let us ask for pile number two. You know, first of all, let's just have a couple of cards on. You know, are they thinking about pile number two? Are they actually thinking about pile number two? Are they thinking about pile number two? Let's have a look here. Weakness. So this, these show uh, light and shade, but this has come out on the shade side. So we've got weakness, and then we've got strength. Interesting. That's card number 10. Let's have a couple more. One more card. Are they thinking? Are they thinking about pile number two, please? Are they thinking about pile number two? Are they thinking about pile number two? Let's have a look, see what we got here. Going forward, now this is interesting because this card came out in pile number one. Um, so they are thinking about you. They're thinking about moving forward, like this card says, moving forward. Um, but maybe there's a little bit of a way to go. Maybe they're thinking there's a little bit of a way to go because we've got this card that says weakness. So maybe the connection is a little bit weak at the moment. Um, maybe with all this blue, there's a little bit of detachment in it. Um, there's a need for more communication in it. I mean, Beaver card is a card generally of, you know, beavers are very... Oh, they're very family orientated, they're very stable, they're very hard working, they're very flexible, they live on land and water. But this weave at Beaver is surrounded by all this darkness, isn't it? And there's a little bit of light here at the top. So maybe I'm thinking that you might be, I mean, maybe some of you are in, in a relationship with this person, but it's a little bit dark or it's a little bit, uh, there's a few issues in it. But this person is thinking about going forwards maybe it's a bit of a journey that you have to go on to get to the light yeah because this car this this path's also a little bit dark but you you've got to go down this road to get to the light so maybe this person is thinking we're going because 10 is also you know endings and um, completions and things like that so uh maybe this person is thinking well we're in a little bit of dark at the minute there's some you know some issues or problems in the connection maybe it's a bit cold Maybe we don't communicate that well, but I'm actually still thinking about moving forward or going on a journey with you still to get towards the light, to, to move us into a better place. But let's have a look and see what other cards are. Yeah, how or what is power number one and two's person thinking, please? How or what is power number two's person thinking? So we've got the devil, yeah, right under weakness. Um, we've got the knight of wands. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Four of Pentacles, right, okay. 
and the overarching energy is the world. So yeah, this definitely isn't a bit of, a, of an unpredictable. What's underneath that? The six of wands. Okay. I feel like at the moment this situation might be a little bit unpredictable. It might be um, with the wheel here. Maybe it's a cyclical thing. Maybe you're not with them. The devil right under weakness says there might be some issues in it. Some weaknesses. Because the devil really is about allowing your, um, for want of a better phrase, weaknesses of character to dominate you and control you. Um, and it could be that in this situation that there are things in it that maybe are very tempting but are not um, that great for the connection. Maybe it is, um, it could be that it's also um, yeah, there's something about it that's sort of stuck really, because the hangman is like also literally being in suspension stuck. Um, and also the Nine of Pentacles is quite an independent card. So I'm feeling like this situation might be in separation or it might be a cyclical thing. Whereby sometimes it's really exciting. There's a lot of good things about it or a lot of exciting things about it. And then at other times you are not together or you're separate um, or you have time apart really with the Hangman and the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, but I think this person is thinking that they want to move it forward uh, from where it is at the moment. So it could be something that's just a bit fun or it's just cyclical or it's just um, you just both come in and get what you want. Um, so it's non-committal. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a sense of a non-committal energy in the situation. But because you have the beaver card, which is very much, you know, the beaver is very much committed to their family. I'm feeling this person... Um, need, thinks that the situation needs to shift in some way or is thinking that the connection needs to shift and they're thinking and they're looking at all the resources they're looking at all the resources in the connection and thinking mm, we need to shift perspective we need to cook up something different here in order to go forward so you know we need to move it on from just being something really enjoyable and not that your relationship shouldn't be enjoyable, but just something that's just about pleasure to something or, and, and cycles and non-commitment to something that is more substantial. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like this person is looking at, all, at, at this cupboard, looking at her ingredients, thinking, what can I cook that's going to be substantial for me to eat? So I feel like this person is thinking... We need to, to, for this situation to get stronger, for it to be better, we need to shift our perspective. We need to change it from being just about fun and just meeting up when we want to and keeping our lives independent and keeping it in cycle in a cyclical thing to, to, to being more substantial, more substantial. Because underneath the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Six of Wands, which is about recognition, victory, success. So I feel like this person thinks that success and going forward in this connection is about creating a more stable connection, a more loving connection, a more um, solid, sort of the earth kind of connection. At the moment, I'm getting the sense that the connection is all about, um, you know, um, there's, there's a sort of lack of, um, there's a lack of emotional depth to it. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. And this person is wanting to shift that and make it more substantial. That, that's how this person is thinking, really. Um, okay, so in terms of what we've got here, so we've got Capricorn Energy, we have got Pisces, we've got um, Capricorn again, we have got Virgo, and we have got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, so let us see what else we have. What other cards should I have? Let's have one of these cards here. So, um, how are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number two, please? What are they thinking about pile number two? What are they thinking about pile number two? Let's see what this is. So this is the Knight of Cups, exactly. So the Knight of Cups is somebody who's much more romantic than the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a little bit more of a player energy. So what I'm feeling is that this person is thinking we need to move this into a more emotional connection. 
a more romantic connection rather than it just being a connection where we hook up or we don't really connect much emotionally. So I'm thinking that I'm I'm getting more serious about pile number two. I'm feeling that I want to move it and forwards into something that is more romantic, more uh, yeah, more committed maybe even with the beaver card. So let's get out another card here. So the energy needs to shift. It needs to become more balanced with this beautiful depiction of the hangman. You know, here she is doing a headstand. Uh, she looks perfectly calm. So I'm feeling like this person, the energy is thinking, thinking that the energy needs to shift so that the connection is more sort of balanced, more harmonious, calmer, more substantial, more wholesome, much more wholesome than maybe it is at the moment or how it's or how it has been really with the devil card here. So let us get one of these cards out. So how are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number two, please? How are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number two? So we have sacrifice. True love is selfish. Exactly. I feel like with the devil, because the devil energy is a very selfish energy. It's all about me, 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 now, now, now. What can I have? And I feel like this person is thinking that they want to change that that either that dynamic or how they have been possibly and to be more giving than maybe they've been in the past maybe they haven't been like that maybe they've just been selfish and now it's like about sacrificing all the things that were just quick hits quick fixes for something that is much more substantial with the true love is selfless here okay let's get out another card how are they thinking what are they thinking about card number two please Again, movement into balance. I just said that, and this also came out in part number one. Yeah, a movement into something much more balanced, much more solid, much more reciprocated, you know, something like that. Let's get out some more tarot here. So how are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number two, please? We have the magician. So came out in part number one. Uh, how are they thinking? What are they thinking, please, about part number two? Again, this one came out in part number one. There's a lot of cards that have come out in part number two or in part number one. So we've got the magician and we've got the king of pentacles. Right, okay. How are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number Two, please. We've got the King of Cups. Hierophant. My goodness, the Hierophant came out as well in pile number one. And we have the Chariot. Right, okay. And we've got the Three of Cups. Okay, so maybe at the moment there was a third element, or a third element caused this situation. A problem in this situation and it could have been that it was a temptation so there was a third element with the three of cups that is a temptation or was a temptation in the connection um, and it could have caused it to come into separation uh, and if, it, if that's the case I would say this person um, regrets that now whether you think it's worth your time um, to give someone if they've done that to you, to give someone like that a second chance is your is your decision. It's your choice, obviously. But this person is thinking that they definitely want to, um, with the with the um, magician, manifest something with you again, and something that is much more mature than what it was before. But obviously, if someone has done something to you that like that they know they've been unfaithful or they've been some they've done something which allowed um where you didn't feel like number one or you didn't feel like you were important then you have to use your discernment don't you with that in every single way but from where what i can see uh this person because these are two king energies we've got the king of pentacles and the king of cups well this person is thinking and, and kings are always mature wise energy and you've got the hierophant here so this person is definitely thinking they want to shift this situation. I think if they've done something wrong, they do regret it. But that's not to say that you should then just immediately take them back. I'm not in any way suggesting that. 
or you know forgive them or whatever that takes a lot of time and effort and work on their part i think more than anything else but they are thinking that with the king of pentacles and the king of cups that they are mature now they're wiser now that they have all the potential to offer stability security as well as emotional um an emotional attachment an emotional connection and wanting to offer wanting to shift it shift the connection to something more committed with the hierophant here um and I think with a chariot, is, it tells me that they would like to do that quite quickly. Chariot is speedy energy. And also it might mean that if they're far away from you, they would like to travel towards you, move towards you. Um, I mean, the third, the three of cups could also mean it's a, it's a time of celebration. Because the three of cups is about celebrating. It's about you know having a good time. It's about being happy. So it could be that this person is hoping or thinking that they would like to have a happy uh, connection with you where it's, you know, where you're, you know, you're really happy to be together. Um, because all these cards here are about let's create something wonderful together. Let's create something committed. Um, let's do it quickly with the chariot. I'm, you know, more than ready with the Knight of Cups and the Chariot to move towards you, to move forwards. Again, it could be about just going forward with the Chariot because the Chariot is essentially um, shows somebody who is moving forward in a very clear way. They know exactly the direction that they want to go in. They're in full control. And it is also a card of balance because the Chariot is about making sure um, that you keep both those, you know, you keep those, normally in the kind of right away, you have the charioteer, which we sometimes see as the emperor, uh, with the white and the black, um, uh, you know, horses um, either side, um, pulling it, and it can, they can go off in that direction, there's always a the potential that they can go like that, and you can lose control. Whereas the emperor or the person in the chariot is, is moving, he's got control of the chariot and is going in the direction that they want to go in. So I feel like this person with the chariot is saying, like, I'm ba I want to be balanced here and I want to move it. I want to go forwards, possibly quite quickly, um, in a controlled way um, towards you. You know, I feel like I've got my demons under control. Obviously, as I said before, you know, it's up to you. You need to use your discernment. But all these cards, to me, would say this person might have made a mistake, uh, a huge mistake, may have strayed, may have been tempted, may have shown a weakness. Um, and now they regret that and they would like to um, build something again with you. But you need to decide and, and move it into balance, you know, what they feel is balance. But obviously it's up to you about whether you would want whether you feel that you could trust someone like that again. I mean, all these cards indicate that this person believes that they are wiser. But obviously, you know, you've got to, you've got to test the waters there, haven't you? For quite some time. If somebody's betrayed you, you know, if that's what's happened here, then um if you've got if you want to go down the road of taking someone back who's betrayed you, then you need to be very discerning and you know. Um, they need to be showing you for a very long time <laughs> consistently that they, you know, uh, that, they're, they're, that they are walking their, you know, walking their talk, if you, like, if you like, really. But anyway, so we have Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we have, yeah, those are just some of the star signs that i'm seeing here but let's get out some messages so what are they thinking how are they thinking about pile number two please what are they thinking how are they thinking about pile number two put yourself first loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive yeah there might be something here about you pile, pile number two um you know just making sure that you're filling your own cup um so to speak you know you're giving yourself a lot of self-love um, you know, it might be with a devil card here that you've been through, you know, a little bit of a tricky energy with this person. Um, it's what most important in that situation is to look after yourself. 
Magnetic connection. There is a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. Okay. What else have we got here? Keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. Okay. And then the last card is boundaries. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow. And that's, I think, that's what I was saying. You know, like, um, it might be that this person is thinking that they are 100% uh, into the connection now. They want to be in the connection. They're committed to the connection. They want to bring it back into balance. They, you know, but what I'm saying here is that you need to be, I think these messages are saying, you know, this could be a very strong connection between the two. There might be a lot of temptation, a lot of draw or pull in the connection but um you know uh, if somebody some somebody's done something that's not quite right and certainly somebody's broken your trust then you need to be really clear on your boundaries if you decide to take them back i think this person would like to come back to you but you need to be clear on your boundaries you need to show them um you know in your behavior you know what you will and won't allow what what is and isn't acceptable going forwards really uh so keep the door open maybe keep the door open but just be very clear about what you expect uh from them going forwards but anyway power number two that's been your reading i hope you've liked it if you have please please consider subscribing hitting the notification bell so you never miss an upload that makes a huge difference but otherwise i'll see you in the next reading bye for now Hey, power number three, welcome. Welcome back to your reading. Uh, thanks very much for joining me for today's pick a card reading, which is, you know, is the person on your mind? Are they thinking about you? And if so, what are they thinking? So you chose to come into the reading and beautiful butterfly card here. There we go. Lovely. And the rainbow aura quartz here. Gorgeous. Okay. So, um... I hope everyone's doing well. I really wish you all the best. Sending you lots of love and light, as always, wherever you are in the world. Um, and just reminding you, of course, that is a general reading. So please just take the messages that resonate with you. And it's timeless, so it's good wherever you're finding it. Um, also, if you feel that you do like the reading, uh, please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It just means that I can, you know, the more subscribers I get, then the more that says to me that, uh, you know, it's worth me continuing to do more readings on the channel. So if you feel like you do want to subscribe, then please do. But let us start off by asking, you know, are they actually thinking about pile number three? Now, of course, butterflies are always the obvious symbol of transformation, aren't they? So let's just see if that plays out in your reading. So are they thinking about pile number three, please? Are they actually thinking about pile number three? I feel like I only want one, so I'm going to take that one. Are they actually thinking about pile number three? Let's have a look here. Now, beautiful. Okay, so here we have uh, light and shade. And this is the only pile where the light aspect has come out first. So we've got perceptive. So that tells me there's a lot of thought going on. A lot of, you know, there's a lot of thought here. Um... They've got a lot of thoughts about you, a lot of perceptions. And then we've got the shade side, which is misunderstanding, but we've come out on perceptive. Okay. All right, so let's get another card out here. So are they thinking about pile number three? Let's see what this one is. Community. Okay, and it's again, oh, again, we've got all the butterflies, haven't we? So they might be thinking a lot around transforming this connection. Maybe this is a connection that is within a community. So for many of you, maybe it's, um, maybe it's somebody you like within your community, uh, and they're thinking of transforming whatever the connection is at the moment. Maybe they're having a lot of intuitive hits, really, with this blue card here. Um, and perceptive. All right, let's get some other tarot cards out here. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it. Let's do these. So, for pile, you know, let's ask how they're thinking about that. So, oh, what are they thinking about pile number three right now? How are they thinking about pile number three right now, please? Get these two that come out together, which is the judgment card. 
the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be with the Eight of Pentacles in the community that this is like a, what you're asking about somebody you've got a, like a crush on, maybe in work or in your community or somebody that you like, possibly. What's this one? Ten of Pentacles. Again, another card with a lot of people in it. So this could be somebody that's in your community. Yeah. Um... How are they thinking about part number three? What are they thinking? We've got two of wands and we've also got the sun again. Lots of people here. There's lots of people, images of people and community here, isn't there? And then we've got the knight of wands. Okay, so this person is definitely, I feel like more than the other two piles. This could be for some of you um you know somebody that you like it's in your community that you like that you might have a bit of a crush on and you're wondering uh, do they think about you are they thinking about you um it could be in a work for some of you it could be in a work situation um or it could be that um you know you're with this person because the ten of pentacles is central and that's usually about a settled situation um so it could be that this is a settled situation this person is definitely thinking about you and they're thinking about you in a very positive way because the sun card is a very 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 happy card it's probably the happiest card in the deck along with the ten of uh, cups so i would say this person is really really thinking about you but i would i, I think it's um they're really thinking about you and they, you're making them very happy they feel very happy when they think about you now the two of wands, what have we got underneath there? We've got the four of, wow, we've got the four of wands again. Like maybe mm, this person wants to have some sort of celebration with you or wants to have a celebration. I'm thinking with the four of wands, maybe there's a marriage or an engagement or something because the four of wands coming under the knight of wands, maybe this person wants to ask you or is thinking of asking you to commit to them. Because the Knight of Wands looks like it's like a date night, doesn't it? It looks like this person is preparing a date night, a special date night. And underneath we've got the Four of Wands. So maybe this person is thinking um, that they want to ask you out or take you out or take the connection to a deeper level, to a level that is more committed, where you meet each other's family, they meet your family, you meet their family. Um, and although this is the two of wands, I feel like it reminded me of the magician, because you've got all of the, you've got all the all the um, suits in this, haven't you? You've got um, well, it almost like you've got all the suits because you've got the pentacles, you've got the um, swords, you've got the wands. You haven't got the caps, but you've got this crystal ball. So I feel this person is sort of like um, maybe wishing, dreaming, and planning for this situation to transform either to start. If you are in a, if it's like a crush and transform it into something that they think is going to be much better. So maybe somebody in your community or if you're with them um, to, to maybe just take it to the next level whereby you are going to be having a committed relationship. And there's going to be like some sort of celebration, some sort of, you know, like some, yeah, some sort of party, like an engagement party or a marriage or something like that, um, which this person might be preparing for in some way um and judgment again is a is a is a, a right a card of rising where something is rising up it's elevating so i feel like this person is thinking and the butterfly you know is elevated hasn't it from from the kind of ugly category although categories aren't ugly i don't think they're ugly but you know that's the sort of idea behind it isn't it you know they they go in as a cat into the christmas as a caterpillar and they come out a beautiful butterfly but I, so I feel that that's, that's, that's transforming to elevate the connection. And I think maybe this person is thinking that this is somehow going to really um, reflect positively on the community around you or in the communities around you, like family, friends. All those people are going to be, be behind the connection. Um, and this person, you know, the Eight of Pentacles can also be a card of mastery. So I feel that maybe this person is thinking that they want to somehow elevate this connection make it better work on making it better more committed more stable and that that somehow is going to please you it's going to please them it's going to please the parents the brothers the sisters the aunties the uncles all of that 
um, and they might be thinking about a special event that they're going to ask you out on to maybe, you know, I want to say pop a question or do something like that, which takes it to the next level. It, transform it transforms it, you know, like it's a transformative thing. Um, yeah, and again, you see, you've got the rainbow or a quartz and this rainbow. And of course, rainbows, um, to me always mean i think i had a touch on it in car number one because there were some rainbow colors in that i mean rainbows mean lots of things don't they but for to me a rainbows are about are about balance they're about the chakras being in alignment they are about absolute balance they're about hope they're about harmony they're about you know um good luck all the things all the positive things that we feel when everything is in alignment so i felt this person is kind of feeling that this whole situation is aligned is um right for them really that's kind of what i'm feeling and they want it to rise they want it to transform um for sure so what have we got here so we've got um we've got all of the fire signs haven't we of Aries, leo sagittarius we've got uh, leo here we've got uh, virgo and yeah those, those are just some of the um, signs that I'm seeing. But let's get another card out. And what are they thinking? How are they thinking about you? So what are they thinking about pile number three? How are they thinking about pile number three, please? What are they thinking? How are they thinking? Let's get that one out. So this, this obviously wants to come out of this one. I've seen it about three times as I've been shuffling. And this is the Seven of Pentacles. Again, that's a card of like preparation. It's a card of maybe this person is preparing, getting ready in some way. Um, yeah, something like that. Let's get out another card. What are they thinking? How are they thinking about pile number three, please? How are they thinking about pile number three? Oh, let's see what this is. Faithfulness. This came out in pile number one, I think. So fidelity builds strong relationships. Well, that will go with all of these cards because these cards are all about kind of happy family scenes, a happy, strong, faithful, committed relationship, really. Um, let me just get out this one here. How are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number three, please? Look at that masculine energy and look at this sun. Again, it's reminding me of the sun. This this is such a positive. I feel like this person feels very positively or is thinking very positively about uh, the connection. And also, if they are going to, I feel like they need to take the lead or they're thinking they should take the lead somehow with the masculine um, energy here. Hmm. Let's get out some... So how are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number three? How are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number three? Again, you see, look, the Hierophant, commitment. I think the Hierophant has come out in all three piles. The Hierophant is commitment. How are they thinking? What are they thinking? Then we have the Seven of Wands. How are they thinking? What are they thinking, please? How are they thinking? What are they thinking? The Eight of Wands. Wow, the Empress. How are they thinking? What are they thinking about pile number three, please? And the two of pentacles. Maybe there's something they have to weigh up here. We could go the two of wands and the two of pentacles. And we've got the king of swords. Now this, this came out in pile... Come out. There's a lot of interconnectedness between all of the piles today. I don't know why. There's a lot of similar cards that come out in all the piles. So if you did feel drawn to... I mean, obviously, it's up to you. It's entirely up to you. But if you did feel drawn to listen to some of the other piles, you might want to do this. I'm pretty certain this came out in, in this exact same position in pile number two. Um, yeah, this person might be sort of juggling or planning or... Uh, preparing or also wanting to impress you. I get the feeling with the two of pentacles. Look, look at this rabbit. 
um, you know, juggling these two pentacles, these two little mermaids are looking on, um, you know, in awe really, because it's just such an amazing thing that the rabbit is doing, standing on this fish, juggling these two pentacles, you know, it's very impressive. So I feel like this person is trying to impress you, or they're thinking that they've got to do something to impress you. Um, I think it's because they just really feel that they want to want to have you. At the moment, with the King of Swords being the overarching energy, I mean, it could be that the situation is kind of like, if it is like a crush or it's sort of something whereby you're not with this person and they feel like they want to, you know, like transform it and ask you out with a view to having this kind of relationship with you. I feel like they've, if it, you know, that they might have looked at you for a long time or they might have fancied you for a long time or liked you for a long time because you're in each other's communities and giving it a lot of thought for a long time because the King of Swords is all about, you know, um, thought, uh, perception. So this person is giving, you know, has got a good perception of you or lots of, you know, ideas about you, likes you a lot, thinks about you a lot, wants to communicate with you because you've got all this kind of like coming out of their mouth. What's that under me? Look at that. You had the Four of Wands again underneath it here. So you've got the Four of Wands twice. This person's definitely thinking about like the next level with you, 100%. You've got the Four of Wands twice. The Four of Wands is the traditional marriage card. It's also the marriage, it's also the card of, you know, that milestone through, you know, being together. So this person is definitely, definitely um, wanting to impress you. They see you as somebody who is so beautiful. With the Empress here, they really, really, really fancy you. I think this person really fancies you um, big time. But it's not just about fancying you. They really put you up on a pedestal. They think you are uh, something very, very, very special. And obviously you are, pile number three. Um, you're like a queen, really. I mean, the Empress is higher than the queen. You can't get any higher than the Empress. So this person just believes that you are uh, the bee's knees. But there might be some uncertainty or feeling like they've got to impress you or they've um yeah they've got to um yeah there's a little bit maybe uncertainty around you or something but they definitely are thinking of commitment here with the hierophant 100 percent. this is something that they definitely want to commit to uh now you have the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles so I feel like there might be some challenges around. That might be well, you've got the two twos, the seven of wands. There might be some challenges for this person around this connection. But they definitely, with the eight of wands, are ready to kind of go for it. Yeah, so they see they're on top of the challenges. They think they can meet the challenges. And they just want to go for it. Now, it might be, maybe there's a lot. Maybe they're, you know, you're in a community. You're both a group of friends or something like that. And maybe there are, you know, maybe there are, are other other options for them and for you. But this person is definitely reaching for you. They're reaching for that one option that they really want. Um, and that is the Eight of Wands, and they want to do it quickly. So it might be, with all these community cards around, that there's lots of options for you and for them. Uh, maybe you've been, um, you know, maybe this is the very early stages of something and both of you have been dating each other. But, you know, like, I mean, these days now, you know, if you're younger, um, it seems to be, I mean, I don't really understand it's probably part of my generation, but, you know, if you're younger, it seems to me that, you know, people seem to can date um, in the early stages. They might date a few different people. Um so it might be that that's the situation, but this person is thinking, you know, I really like this person and I want it to be exclusive um, now. I want to move it up to the next level. I want me and part number three to be exclusive. I'm not interested in dating anyone else. I don't want them to date anyone else. Um, I'm just interested in it being us together, just us two. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, and that, maybe that's why they feel they've got to impress you. They've got a... Um, yeah, they've got to um, show you that they um, that they are the right choice. You know what I mean? Particularly if you've got other, if they think you've got other options. So it's definitely about transforming the connection for the better, elevating it, you know, making it better. Um, <coughs> and they feel it's their with the masculine energy. I think they feel it's their job uh, to to make that move, to to do that, to direct that in some way. 
So we have, like I said, we have Taurus, we have um, Leo and Sagittarius, we have um, Capricorn, um, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini, uh, and Aries. Okay, so let us get out some of these cards. Okay, so let's see, what are they thinking? How are they thinking about part number three, please? Right, so this one came out, so let's see who this one is. Law of Attraction, you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. So yeah, so it could be, this is a brand new relationship for many of you. Then we've got, uh, pay attention to red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. Interesting. So you may have, maybe there has been some red flags if it's in the early stages or for some of you, possibly. Um, and maybe it's just about this person also being aware of that. But then wanting to transform it and make it more faithful, make it different, make it better. And then look, you see, look, engagement. Your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. And that's what I've been feeling with all of these cards. It's about moving it to something uh, more committed. Uh, moving it to the next level. But anyway, power number three, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing. Hitting that notification bell uh, so you always know when I'm uploading. But otherwise, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.